How many of you hate getting the covers jerked off you when you're all nice and cozy? Or when your annoying little sibling comes and pokes you with his new toy sword? Or even the feeling of not being able to breathe thanks to a new layer of paint in your home or some other chemical in your presence? This is similar to the feeling of a baby having to experience an abortion, sucked up in a warm, protected environment, or poked with a sharp needle, or even poisoned to the point of suffocation. Abortion is a rising issue. More and more babies are murdered each day. I don't understand the logic behind this process, and no one realizes how many abortions happen every day, not only in the US, but around the world. Worldwide, 42 million babies are murdered, sucked from their warmth, from their womb. We as a population try to ignore the idea of the murder or of an innocent baby without knowing the facts. And if you have a heart, these facts will make you turn your head even more to the horrid thought of abortion. Each year in America, there are 1.37 million abortions. This number makes 3,700 babies die per day. In fact, by the time the speech is over, roughly 18 babies have died, which is one horrific compacted statistic. At the looks of the recent studies, this number is not slowing down. As more young adults and teens continue to get pregnant, the number will continue to rise, simply because they are not prepared to raise another baby or another person and obviously don't know how to take care of themselves or stay out of bad situations. 52% of abortions happen from someone 25 years old or younger. Very few older than 25 ever consider abortion. People can argue that this is mostly the ones who aren't connected with God or, have, or don't have religious beliefs, but I hate to break it to you people, Protestants are the leaders in abortion when it comes to religion. They make up about 37.4% of the statistical research and they're followed by the Catholics as well as the non-believers. And this also includes the evangelic or the Jewish. People not only argue that religion of those who decide to have abortions, but the financial problems as well. Well, it's sad to say that 38% of people that have abortions make between 30,000 and 60,000 a year. To put it in perspective, that's about the salary of a school teacher. Abortion is an awful decision and people should open their eyes and realize this may get rid of a problem but it's followed by guilt, depression, and so much more. Abortion has been around for over 3,500 years and, and unfortunately will never go away. In 1973, abortion became legal in the U.S. because the Supreme Court says that women should have the right to make their me own medical decisions about their own bodies, which is a very agreeable statement. However, the use of abortion, because the baby is simply an inconvenience to their life, should be unacceptable. The woman made the decision to not be on birth control, or the male chose to not wear a condom, and because of this, they should have to grow up enough to take care of their consequences. Most abortions come from women who have never been married, 64% to be exact. They were obviously engaged in premarital sex and were irresponsible, irresponsible with their decision making. I'm pretty sure that by now, if you're at the age of about 13, you should know how baby is created and ways to prevent it, thanks to our lovely media. However, unmarried women aren't the only ones to have abortions. Women who are married have been known to be murderers as well. Actually, 18% of married women have had abortions in their lifetime. Some may ask, does this decision of abortion occur more in certain races or others? Well, the answer to that question is yes. African American women are three times more likely than a white woman to have an abortion. And Hispanic women? are two times more likely to have abortion than a white woman, which is displayed here, thanks to the infamous Whitney Houston, Jennifer Lopez, and Carrie Underwood, none of which have had an abortion, but are good examples of the different races that do make the decision to have an abortion. That doesn't mean that white women don't make the horrible decision, just means that fewer do. It is said that 43% of women will have at least one abortion before the time they turn 45. And to be quite honest, this is pathetic. People need to learn how to keep it in their pants, and so they're ready to accept the consequences of having unprotected sexual intercourse. Imagine a tiny baby struggling for air, convulsing because the pain they're in, or even worse, coming out of the womb burned and stripped of its flesh, still breathing and struggling for life. This is the effect of salt poisoning, which is one form of abortion. The mere image of this should make anybody with a heart rethink the idea of abortion or despise it even more. So what can we do about this horrible decision that is made by women every single day? We can't completely erase it because there are laws allowing this to happen, but we can make more and more people aware of the harm that they cause to innocent babies. Not only bring
bring awareness to the public, but not allow abortion to seem acceptable in our society. I think I speak for the majority of women, even the ones who have experienced abortion, when saying it's an awful crime. No baby should be cut to scraps and then sucked out of, through a tube. The baby's unwanted, choose adoption, not abortion.